So guys, um, hi, uh, I'm Julio. I'm going to start a presentation here. So I would like to invite you to take a seat because I'm going to tell you a few interesting things. And yeah, so first of all, um, I would like to say thank you to Fermenti's team to give us uh, this opportunity to uh, tell you a little bit more about its cell counting and automation using Oculus. And, and of course, its benefits for breweries and wineries. So, first of all, presenting myself. So, uh, yeah, I'm a brewing and beverage engineer. I studied in Van Stefan, and uh, I'm also a brewer technician, so from Brazil. And in meanwhile, I had a chance actually to work in different places uh, in the drink industry, so like in the Stone Brewery in Berlin, and also at Newport in Portugal. And now I'm the fermentation expert from Oculize. So, but the first question is actually, why should we analyze the yeast? Basically, to avoid off flavors, so that may negatively uh, affect the reputation for the product or the brand. Also, standardized products, so offer customers constant quality. Standardized process, so increase plant efficiency at the end. Optimization, the occupancy time of the fermentation tanks in order to reduce the production costs and expenses, and also to increase the productivity, so to avoid delays and longer tank occupancy times. And basically, what is Oculize? You might, be, you might have been asking yourselves. So, it's actually the combination of a hardware and a software. As you can see, here is the microscope, and here is the app. We have basically two apps, one more for uh, beer brewers, so brewers, and for uh, winemakers. Our technology is basically based on uh, image recognition. So here what I'm showing you is uh, basically some yeast cells before our uh, analyze and after. So basically, only yeast cells will be counted. Cells inside the circle or in contact with the white line here will be counted. Cells in contact with the red line won't be counted. And cells marked in green are live cells. And um, the purple ones are dead. It's basically a contrast thing, so the pretty application of the Thomas Chamber method. So, but the, actually, the most important question would be why should you choose Oculize? Because Oculize is reliable, so our anal uh, analysis method was validated by the VLB, and it's already present in more than 30 different countries. Oculize is also easy to handle, so anyone can operate it if even uh, if they never work with a microscope. But that you see at the end of the presentation. Oculus is fast because we are able actually to deliver the results within one minute. Oculus is also convenient because also the results, they will be available either on your uh, mobile device or on your computer, also online or as a PDF file. And Oculus is robust, OK? If you look here, it does not look like that, but how would you describe something that doesn't need calibration or maintenance? For me, it's robust. And only Oculus does the concentration and viability, warning about low viability, the body index, the each cell, uh, cell size chart, the visualization of dead cells, living cells, and basically you're seeing your yeast. And all of that at the same time. And only Oculus provides you actually the distribution of cells by size, which is actually quite important because this tool allows you to identify stressed cells in case this peak goes in this direction, identify also healthy, healthy cells, and also reduce fermentation time because if the cells are bigger, they're going to start the fermentation faster, meaning that you're going to profit from an increase of productivity. Because then, if the fermentation is going to run faster, you know what I mean. Like, at the end of the year, you're going to earn per fermentation, like, several hours. And at the end, you will be able to produce more without needing to buy a new tank. So, also reduce water aeration, because if the cells are bigger enough, you can also reduce the aeration, which, uh, which would be also an additional process in the line. And also to uh, solve fermentation issues faster. In case the fermentation stopped, for example, because the uh, tank went too cold, if you have a slurry with uh, some bigger cells inside, 
this fermentation would be, I mean, the, uh, this fermentation would restart again if you add this slurry with bigger cells. So we also have the pitch rate calculator, so you just have to fit uh, the calculations and then you would be able to precisely dose the amount of slurry into the other tank, maintain the sensory profile from your product, and keep the tank occupancy time constant. Also, the fermentation tracking. So basically what you see here are many different measurements that we plotted in a chart. So here you can define, for example, one of these slides as parameter. First, sorry. The thing we're seeing here is actually a little bit of the fermentation curve. So how the fermentation goes on. We can see here more or less the ends of the lag phase, the entirely um, exponential phase, and then the thing of the, the beginning of the stationary phase. But if you do that for the whole fermentation, you would be able to track and at the end see, OK, I'll set this line as parameter. And then for each product that I'm going to produce, I know, OK, this fermentation is going to take me seven days. But you can also set this line here as parameter and then start uh, doing some comparisons with the further productions and then see, OK, am I above or below this point? Because if you're below, you have a problem that you have to solve. And then you also have another problem because the fermentation time is going to take longer, so that your tank will be occupied for a longer time. And this affects negatively, actually, your uh, production uh, schedule. So basically, this tool, as I told you, allows you to standardize the fermentation curve of products, to recognize changes in the fermentation profile, to identify changes in the fermentation duration, and also to avoid changes to the production schedule. And actually, only for winemakers, we also have a feature that tells that the fermentation going to, is going to stop before it does. So we tell you that we might have some insufficient yeast growth, some slow sugar consumption, and some sharp drop uh, in concentration. So in other words, no sluggish or stuck fermentations anymore. Here, some of our clients all over the world. So here in Germany, Portugal, Germany, Chile, Brazil, UK, Norway, Germany, Spain, Australia, Brazil, Netherlands, USA, Denmark, and Brazil. So, as I told you, many different countries. You might have a friend that's already using Oculize, or you could be the first. And here's the result, actually, from the validation report from, VLB, from the VLB. So, basically, the results that we get, they were quite comparable. However, the Oculus system does not require laboratory equipment and does not require trained staff. And we also assume the counting and calculation of the results. And also important, it's not influenced by any particles within the world. Like if you have any kind of hop particles or any other vegetal material. So first of all, thank you. And then. Let's go to the demonstration. So now you see how it works. So basically, this is the start screen from our app. And then we just have to click here on Start New Analysis. This time, I prepared the sample actually without adding the methylene violet, which is the dye that we suggest to use. Because we're going to see, and I'm going to show you, the some advantages of using this uh, dye. So here, I'm going to click on Only Calculation. I just have to turn on the microscope, which is already connected. I just have to press the button here. The red light is on. It's working. Just to give, uh, now I just need to give some permissions. And now what you're seeing here is already the it cells, but not sharp, not sharp. So here, just have to move a little bit. Then adjust the focus. So what you're seeing here are the yeast cells. So since this value here, uh, I mean, from that far, you're not able to see, but it's something around 1,800, 900. 
So, and this is supposed to be at least around 40. So, this sounds, I mean, this means that the picture is quite good. We click here in the middle, take a picture, then it's fine. Now we just have to release the pressure, move the slides to another position to capture another picture, then adjust the focus again. The value here is above 40, fine. Another picture, keep, release the pressure again, move the slide to another position, adjust the focus, and then click here in the middle. Now I click here on keep, and now I have the page where I add all the information that I want to be, that I want to have documented. So name for one sample, just now it turn it for me. One, two, three. In the field tag, I can add all the things that I'm going to need in the future, like to filter all these results, like which string I'm using, which kind of uh, product I'm producing, and so on. The day and the time, they're going to be recorded automatically. Then we have the dilution uh, part. Basically, in this case, we can assume it was a word uh, sample, so no dilution needed, so I don't need to change the values here. I'm basically taking one part of the sample and zero parts of water. But in case, if I were analyzing the uh, slurry, I would need to do a dilution. This means 1 to 100, so one part of the sample, 99 parts of water. To the comments, also any other information that might be interesting for us, then we click here on the next step. And meanwhile, these pictures went to our server, went through the algorithm, and uh, came back, providing us the result. So, and now I want to show you another thing that we have here. So, all the results, as I told before, they're going to be available here. And we also have the pitch rate calculator, as I told you before and I showed you. So, you know, uh, based on these values from concentration and viability, I can tell you, like, precisely within seconds. So, the amount that you need to fermentate 100 dectoliters with 12 degree plateau, with a pitch rate for a lager, like recommended by Fermentis, for example, 1.5 million cells per milliliter in degree plateau. Then I click here on calculate, and here's the amount of slurry that you need to take. Doing quite easier. So, yeah, that's it from our side. Do you have any questions? Yeah, sure. And I mean, at the end, last but not least, the greatest news are act is actually that Fermentis is going to have our app integrated to there. So the best working together, you know? <laughs> so thanks for your attention. If you don't have any questions, 